What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the D-Leathers 11 gaming channel for another uh, Cleveland State Vikings lacrosse uh, dynasty episode. This week we got a big game against the number two team in the country, Maryland Terrapins. And uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. Fairly decent turnout this evening. I'm hoping some of these people brought their umbrellas because there are a few gray clouds hanging around out there. You can see it is going to be, as the announcer just said, a rainy game for this one here at uh, Krenzler Field in Cleveland. This is just yet another top 10 team that the Vikings have to take down. This might be the best team we've played all season, though. So there's definitely a possibility of us dropping this one. So here we go. Maryland in the uh, road blacks, and we're rocking our home greens. Sandor wins the faceoff, and Estemir comes away with it. Long pass down to D Leathers. Found Yormick in front, and the shot just goes a bit wide. We get our 1 4 1 set up. Looked for space over the middle. There's not much there. Well, that's dicey stuff in their own defensive zone. Turtles ball. Not sure what happened there. Maybe uh, one of our defenders came over the line in the middle. Uh, Maryland makes us pay for it. I believe that was uh, Logan Wisnowskis with the quick goal in front of the net. Vikings all around him. And it looks like to actually uh, ricochet off the goalie's uh, shoulder. So it was not a good start for the Vikings if we give up a goal within the first uh, 25 seconds of the game. Oh, and Sandor just tosses the ball away. Thought the long stick was going to look to look for the pass, but he did not. And we quickly give it back to Maryland. Pass on that time, the Terps attack then goes in the crease. The so luckily, we come away and don't go into a two-goal uh, hole to start there. off the game. Here's Estemira looking for the clear. Gets it up to Cade Ferris. Finds a lot of space on the right side and is able to get it down into the zone. Oh, D. Leathers gets whacked in the back, and the ball pops out, but Estemira is right there to get it back. Six. Here's Cade Ferris dodging away. The Terps are all over us right now. Jormick found space and the goalie's there to stop it. D Leathers gets the ricochet. The ball goes to oh, and Bryce Young just nice fights the ball out of my stick. It looked like it actually bounced off of him. Logan takes it to the rack and and when Logan Wisnowskis makes us pay with his second goal of the game. Play resumes. We're underway again here. Actually, it wasn't. I think that might have been a different player. Yep, so that was just now because Bernhardt scored the first one. At Providence Park. And it's a 2-0 Maryland lead, so Vikings are quickly in the hole here. Gets in first, and we got to look for a good shot on this possession as we do win the faceoff at least. Lets it rip and gets the goal. Oh, and we get it to Yormick, who's just been so consistent for us scoring goals this season. Seems like whenever we really need a goal, he's there to just put it away. And that gets us on the board. So it is 2-1 now. Uh, still Terrapins lead. Four for the home team. Three for Maryland. Here again to face off. Four. Sandor takes the face off. Gets it to He's into the offensive zone. Into Ackerson. Back to Estemira. Loses the defender. Looks to shoot. Flies over the top. Pretty decent uh, shot attempt that time. Ball, ball does get uh, deflected out, out of bounds. Back to the Vikings. Samara loses defender again. So he works it around. Here's D. Leathers behind the net. Uh, Ackerson couldn't stop his momentum, but the ball was going back to the Terrapins anyways, so didn't end up actually affecting anything. Oh, and the ball goes off the post that time. Back to Maryland. Robertson drops the hammer. 
I don't know if I actually deflected that shot as the defender that time or uh, what it may have bounced off of. Oh, very nice point blank save by Koopman that time. We kind of left him out to dry there. So we look for the clear. Get it to Norman Butler, the long stick. Here's Estemira. Oh, amazing shot there from Estemira. Just finding all that room and shooting the ball just straight past the goalie. Awesome individual effort that time. The coach for the visiting side might want to consider giving someone else a try. Things clearly not going their way so far. And Estemira comes away with the ball. Here's to Wagoner and to Yormick. 23. McElvain. Tipped up to Harrison Braswell as the Vikings look to work the... I mean, almost in basketball, this would be called a box and one, kind of what the Terrapins are doing at the moment. Here's Jackson Braswell. Oh, he found the same space that uh, Estemera did on the last play, but he wasn't able to convert it. Couple dodges there from Mr. Oh, and he gets chopped down. So this Maryland team is definitely pretty tough. Oh, big save by Koopman. The Vikings will look to move the ball upfield. Here's the D leathers. There's just not a lot of room. Oh, there's Wagoner. The ball goes Getting in the there. Oh, he gets Chance the ball back. There are spaces in the Maryland defense, but it's definitely a little tighter than some of the other teams we've played. Riley receives the ball. Oh, had a pretty good move, I thought, there, but we weren't able to keep control of the ball. And that one's going to go. Oh, we do get it back. thought it was going to Maryland. So we sprint into the zone. Takes the shot. Not on shot target. sails over the top of the net that time. We've got about 36 seconds left in the quarter. Wagoner. Here's Wagoner. Probably should have just shot that one. And we ended up with a, probably a little lower percentage of shot than we would have had if we would have just taken it originally. Oh, big hit by D. Leathers, and he comes away with it. Looking to get a quick... Oh, the pass of the wrong guy that time. We had our opportunity in transition there, but uh, sent the pass to the wrong attackman. Ends up going into the zone. Another big check. Just 10 seconds left here in the quarter. With time and room, winds up with that shot. Koopman chalks up a save. Well, you won't see any more exciting periods of lacrosse than that. It's too Yeah, and I have to agree with the announcer here. there. That was an absolute battle of a first qu uh, quarter. Maryland uh, got the two goals initially, and we came back with ours. If this whole game is like this, this is going to be a dogfight to the finish. Here's Sandor. Let's one fly. Ackerson found just a little hole there to slip the shot in, but goalie's there with the uh, save. Oh, big, big time check thrown there by uh, Estemera. He's been playing very well at the start of this one. Gets it back to him. Oh, and Estemera hits the post. Cleveland State didn't have the backup that time, so ball will go back to the Terrapins. Oh, Maryland just comes down and forces it in. Had decent defense that time, but uh, this Maryland team is very good. They're still going to get their shots off. And they come away with the faceoff as well. Oh, I believe that was Tim Rotans that time coming away with the goal. So we're quickly give down two goals again. So he just splits our defense and nets it. I 
eyes on the X now for the restart. Four wins it for the home. Vikings do come away with that face off. Here it's a deal others. Has time. What a rip from I took a page out of their book that time and I just kind of split the D as they had been doing. It's pretty much taking it right to right uh to the defense. And got that goal. I believe it bounced off the uh, goaltender as well. Or maybe not. Maybe just to the uh, side of him. Back but in any case, D. Leathers comes away with the goal. And it is 4-3 uh, now. Terrapin's on top. Four. Wins the face -off. Sandor takes the faceoff. Here's it to Jackson Braswell. Braswell. I think he Great hit the post there. The D. Leathers tight ropes the sideline. I was a little afraid I was going to go out of bounds grabbing that there. I was able to navigate it and get the ball back for us. Found some more space that time, but uh, shot goes wide once again. Uh, I get uh, stuck with that over the middle pass, which I know is dangerous, but if you're able to convert it, it leads to really uh, good opportunity, quick uh, opportunity in front of the net. That one hit the pipe. We were Maryland fortunate the ball hit the post that time. The Vikings come away with it. And here's McIlvain working oh, it down. Right. To Yormick. Dodging around. Here's a shot. D Leathers found a little bit of room there. And uh, Coley's there with the save. 90. Gibson. Side right. Uh, we really got to watch these quick transition uh, opportunities for Maryland. They're really bringing the ball down the field quickly. Cade Ferris. Running all around the place. Here to Yormick. The dump off to Wagoner. Gets it back to Yormick in front. He just puts the shot a little bit wide. Some pretty good ball movement there. Shoots. And the shot goes wide yet again. But we keep uh, having the backup, so we'll just keep working it. Oh, and that time Maryland had the backup. Thought we had it yet again. So we get three opportunities that time, but none of the shots actually go on the on the net. To the back of the net. Oh, unbelievable the goal from the Terrapins coming down that time. Just letting it fly from super deep, and Koopman can't do anything about it. It all starts here. Who will come up with this face -off? And it is 5-3 now, Terrapins. Cleveland State is definitely in some trouble. Hart Coley makes a very nice save that time. Newfell comes away with it. Maryland really putting a lot of pressure on us to clear this. We get to Brandon Alvarez. Dump it back to McElliott. Coming down, looking for the long stick goal. Shot goes wide. So we'll zig in and out, trying to find open man. Let's it rip. And top of the net. And that was a needed goal that time. Because that has been where we found the success um, with, against this defense that Maryland is playing. It, just bringing guys in and shooting it um, kind of in the middle. They're kind of playing like a relaxed zone almost, it kind of looks like. We are ready to resume play. It's 5 4 for Maryland. So we'll just probably try and keep on going at that. Let's see if we can't get some more. Uh, Go straight on More shot deck. opportunities that way. This is a tight one goal contest here. Leathers. I was attempting to pull him to the uh, left that time, but he didn't seem to want to cooperate with where I was directing him. Well, that time, Maryland just turns it right back over, so two quick turnovers from both teams. Steps in to shoot. 
Uh, we step in the crease that time as our shot goes off the post. We probably would have been able to get the rebound, unfortunately. So that could be a tur considered a turnover as well. Oh, I was able to lay him out, but not before he shot it and got the goal. And the Terrapins take a 6-4 lead after that one. As you see, our uh, goalie Koopman just really slow to uh, react to that. The ball was pretty much in the net already before he even started moving. And he, as you can see, we've been uh, struggling with the faceoff uh, dot as well. Maybe not, maybe not struggling uh, per se, but for uh, as much as we've dominated that aspect of uh, the game this season, we are definitely having a little tougher time than usual against Maryland. Kate Ferris down to Brandon Price. Ball gets knocked loose. Kate Ferris gets it back. Finds D Leathers, but he's not able to convert. Oh, and Maryland just comes right back and gets yet another goal with 14 seconds left before halftime. And they've really taken control of this game now. This is a 7 to 4 advantage for the Terps. Maryland tosses it away after winning the faceoff. So, Vikings have the ball, 9 seconds left. We're really going to have to work this upfield quickly. Three seconds, two, one, and Braswell's shot just goes flying. That will be halftime. It has been a struggle for the Vikings in this one, getting shot opportunities. And you can see we have been winning at faceoffs, but not by the usual margin that we usually do. Um... Really, uh, we've got we're out shooting Maryland, but they're putting more shots on uh, goal than we are. As you can see, of their 15 shots, they've only missed one that hasn't been on goal, and our percentage is considerably lower—11 out of 26. So honestly, that's the main thing that's going to have to change in this game. Is if we can start getting our shots to actually be on net as opposed to uh, just sailing wide. Huge face-off. That's going to be the uh, key in the second the half. The, the Vikings are going to try and uh, pull a comeback and get the big upset over the number two ranked Terps here. Eckerson trying to find space. The ball goes to the ground and it's turned over. Loses it. And Vikings get the turnover. For the home team. Pass was bad, and he should feel bad. And Maryland promptly turns it right back over, so. More turnovers. There's been no shortage of those in this game for either side, really. Let's get up to Dwayne Pickett. Here's McIlvain. Brings the heat. The ball goes to the ground. Chance for them now. Really don't know how I missed that shot. Goes to the ground, and and it's we do over. turn it over yet again. And that was a point blank shot for Leathers that probably should have made. And un somewhat unsurprisingly, Maryland comes right back down and gets the goal. And it is an 8 4 lead now for Maryland. And Cleveland State's really uh, up against it now. Wins the face off and they get a step. Here's D Leathers. Leathers. Force and a goal. So that time D Leathers makes a very nice play. The swim move over the middle and the quick shot. For his second. And uh, cuts the deficit down to uh, three now after that one. The Vikings are not out of this game by any means, but it is going to be an uphill climb, especially against a team as good as uh, Maryland is. Nice win on the faceoff. Four. Comes out on top. Sandor getting pressured. Atkerson, opening some space. 
Great pressure. Koopman harassed. Man, I don't understand how that shot didn't get let go. Maryland, really a big check in the midfield. Chance for them now, and they lose possession. Connor Wilson scoops it up. Lose it. It looked as if I had followed through on the entire shot animation, and uh, for some reason the shot just didn't get re or released. That's gone wide. As Ackerson continues struggling with accuracy. And Vikings do not have the backup either, so ball will go back to Maryland. They let a shot fly that Koopman comes away with. Braswell. The Vikings are really moving the ball well in this game. That hasn't been the issue. And Braswell comes streaking down the middle. And he gets a very nice goal. That may be the key, just uh, coming down the middle. It seems where we've really had our best uh, opportunities in this game. Just going right at that zone as uh, the back Maryland defenders were slow to react that time. Starting again here at the face -off it is 8-6 uh, to six now, Maryland. As the Vikings look to creep their way back into this one. Four. Wins the face -off. Green ball. Sandor comes away with it. Gets it up to McIlvain. And danger. Nice Ball gets recovery. knocked out, but Dela this comes away with it. Slings it. And he attacks, and uh, goalie's there with the save. Oh, we just can't do anything against the Maryland attack. So they come right at us and get another goal. They're pretty much doing the exact same thing that we're, we're doing, of just attacking that middle of the zone. One gets the feeling that the visitors have been a bit complacent here. They really should be trying to mix things up. Every face-off is important. Let's see who comes away with it here. Nine. Is that time Bernhard just steps inside the circle? The ref was well positioned to see it, and Maryland pay the price. Twenty-three takes the shot. Morris. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of times uh, some of the plays that I've scored on against previous teams are not working against Maryland. Like I've been pretty successful with the dump off pass to the guys on the side of the net in previous games, and this one is just not working. Not a problem for Maryland, as though, as they come right back and get yet another goal. That's really a save that the goalie should have had. So. Some of these uh, goals have given up. You can blame on uh, the defenders, but the goalie w had the position that time. Really shouldn't have let that one through. But it is a four-goal deficit now for Cleveland State at 10 to six. And we're struggling now at the face-off X as well. Shot goes flying that time. And Vikings get the ball back. Ackerson again struggles with his accuracy. And it's, that is just really going to be a killer for us in this game as we're just not able to get the shots to go on the net. So we had a wide open net that time and couldn't convert. And a shot and goal. Maryland, with their Maryland just taking complete control of this game now as they take a five goal lead. I don't know that the Vikings have been down by five goals at any point this season, so... How we finish this game out is really going to tell a lot about us as a club. We really are struggling at the face-off X. Stamira luckily comes away with it after throw a huge check was thrown. Normick let a shot fly and it goes wide as it's been happening in this game. 23. Oh, Jormik just gets clocked, but does get the pass away at least. The Maryland defense just hounding us. Oh no! 
And it's the second time in this game that I swear that the shot should have been released and it doesn't come out. We're able to pressure Maryland to throwing it away. Wilson, green ball. So prime opportunity. It looks like we came away with a penalty. May have thrown a check in the back there. The ball goes to the ground. Koopman gets it with just two seconds left, so chucks it down. And I don't know that Cleveland State's going to be able to come back in this one. Five goal deficit, and we've only scored six goals through three periods, so it's going to be tricky. We'll try a different formation to see if that will do anything. Maybe a 3 1 2. But Maryland's really taking control of the faceoffs as well now, which was the one area where we kind of had a big advantage. So, don't know that it's going to make a difference. Nice save by Koopman there, though. Cleveland State's going to have to work really quickly. We do not have a lot of time to be wasting. Because Maryland's defense is just really quick. And they're able to throw, sort of throw a check from distance that time. So they're making plays that Cleveland State's not even really capable of making. And they're showing why they're the number two team in the country with that goal. If you have a good faceoff guy, it can be make it, take it lacrosse. Sandor finally comes away with a faceoff. And the home team have the advantage. Has time. Knocked loose. The home team come up with it. Anthony and finds the back of the That time Cleveland State works it around for a good shot in front of the net. Estimara are getting a good opportunity. Set to resume. It's 12 7. Four. Cinches it. Sandor wins the face off yet again. Maryland, come up with it. Not quite sure what happened there. This ball just ricocheted straight backwards. DeMeo. Looks to the back of the net and save. Another nice save by Koopman. Gets up to Brandon Alvarez. Shoots. Morris manages to recover. Save. Morris wasn't having a bar of that one. Transition opportunity now. Bernardi rips it in. Clear. Another nice save by Koopman. McElliot. Smith. Smith misstepping there. The oh, and I don't know. I agree with the referees that time. I swear that the shot was uh, released before I stepped into the crease. But not much has gone right for the Vikings this game. So perhaps it's uh, unsurprising that we didn't catch a call. Ball ricochets out, and here come the Vikings back down. Trying to trim into this deficit. Oh, and Braswell is able to. Is he... Uh, Gets the ball to bounce off the post. Excellent shot that time. The Vikings cut it to 12 to 8 now. Just under three minutes left in the game. Sandor takes the face off. And Yormick brings it down. Shot goes a little wide that time. Here's Brandon Price. Drops the, hammer. Goes wide. the shot goes wide. Vikings with the backup. Six. Looks to bury the home team. Oh, and just unbelievable Newfield defense from Maryland that time as they're just there with the save. Newfield. With a chance. Oh, quick Another good save by Koopman. With the save. McElvain 
Hackelvain is getting bumped as he shoots. Oh, and McIlvain had a really good look that time. Not able to put it on net once again. Maryland just knocks it. Knocks it away and then throws it away. As it just doesn't really feel like the Vikings are going to be able to win this one just because of how difficult it's been just getting opportunities. Ackerson does go ahead and get one right there. Finding a little space and ball bounces off the goalie's uh, left foot. The so Vikings cut the lead to 12 to 9 now. Every face off critical. And the Vikings give that one away. They throw a big check. And Norman Butler comes away with it, keeping a little bit of hope alive for Cleveland State. But our defense has the. Uh, just mental error to go off sides in that situation. Can't have that. And we quickly give up a goal. So any hope we had of coming back is instantly uh, squashed by the Terrapins. And really our own mental mistakes. And that one was not on me as I was the ball carrier. That really uh, defender should not have uh, come off sides for that one. And straight to the keeper, Koopman. Playing goal today. As we really just need to work it super quickly. Yormick not able to put it on net. And Yormick once again sails it wide. Here's Braswell. Yormick did put it on net that time, but the goalie saves it. It's a nice save, but there's not really enough time left for the Vikings to do much now. Gets away from trouble. A pretty good dodge by Ormick that time. And gets a really quick goal. That's number two for but there's just not enough time left. 30 seconds left. Vikings would have to win three straight faceoffs and score three straight times. Huge faceoff. These guys can take a beating. They're the heart of the team. Nice win on the Fendor wins it. Comes out on Gets top. it up to Yormick. Transition opportunity for the home team. And we're, if we just are trying to work too quickly, we turn it over. Gibson. Gibson has time. Shootman comes away with it. 23. Gets off the shot. Knocked loose. And they lose Looked like a, yet another shot that really should have gone in. Ball's turned over. We'll turn it back over, and that's going to be at the game. So a disappointing effort for Cleveland State in this one as the Terps were just too much. They definitely looked the part of the number two team in the country. And uh, final score is 13-10 uh, to 10 Maryland as they celebrate on Krenzler Field. Yeah, as you see, I mean, what I talked about at halftime, we really weren't able to rectify as only 22 of our 51 shots went on goal compared to 28 of 32 for Maryland. So they took way less shots than us, but they were way more accurate with the shots they did take. Uh, everything else is somewhat even, it looks like. Yeah, and the face-off wins, we, didn't win. we did win there, but we didn't win nearly as much as we usually do. And that didn't help uh, the cause either. So, yeah, bit of a disappointing game for the Vikings, but uh, they'll be getting Marquette in the next uh, episode. And they're um, probably the easiest team that we had left on our schedule um, in the regular season. So it should be a good opportunity for us to bounce back in the next game. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching you guys, and uh, until the next episode, I'll uh, catch you later.